Hi, this is Ralph Wilson with Web Marketing Today. I'm in Las Vegas today at the PubCon conference talking with Sean Collins, who's an expert in the whole area of affiliate marketing and has been around this space for years and I'm delighted to finally meet you in person. We've corresponded over the years and now we get to get to meet. Now you've been using social media to uh, do affiliate marketing. That is, get affiliate links into the social media uh, that will point to products that some merchant is, is doing and you make a commission on it. Exactly, yes. So how do you do that? What are some of the ways you've done that successfully? I guess there are a few different ways. One is to use video. I do a lot with YouTube where basically I could just, if I do a short, maybe a two, three minute review of a product or a service that I like, I'll put that into YouTube and I, I put a, a URL in there a couple different ways and the URL being the same thing as the domain name. Mm -hmm. And um, so what I'll do is I, in the description in YouTube, they enable you to put a live URL in there. So I'll oftentimes put one in there for my main website. And also in the, the video itself, I'll put a, the actual URL that's an affiliate link. And what I use is a, a redirect, so it's a short link. So it's my domain name slash and the product name. Okay. And then so if somebody happens to type that in, then they're going to go right to a, a page where they can purchase whatever this given product is that I'm reviewing. And I've also toured around trying to, in the event that to maybe YouTube forbids you from having an actual URL in the video at some point, I wear a t-shirt once in a while that has my domain name spelled oh, okay. across it. So essentially the strategy is you review the product on YouTube for two, three, four minutes, uh, and then put a URL that goes to your site in some kind of a redirect. So if they go to that link, it takes them then to the, the rather long and complex uh, merchant URL yeah, exactly. uh, and the affiliate URL, and then hopefully they'll buy the product. Yeah, exactly, because the affiliate URL is always way too long for anybody to yeah. type in, so it's, it's just so cumbersome with all kinds of characters in it, so this makes it a lot easier for somebody to actually look at, remember, and type in themselves. Okay. And, and I also use, a, I use Photoshop to create a, a little graphic so that I can put a, my logo on the bottom left of each YouTube video just to get some branding in there and just try to stay sort of okay. top of mind. Okay, so YouTube. What are some other social media that you've used this, this way for affiliate marketing? Well, another place that you can use both video and photographs is Flickr. And, um, and what I do there is that after you have, they have a pro account, which I think goes for about $30 a year maybe. Something like that. And when you upload a picture or a video, you can put a description in there, and the description accepts HTML. So what you can do is if you're maybe a, a photo of a product or a, a video or a review or something, you can put a, an affiliate link within that description there. And so the Flickr tends to get indexed pretty fast with Google. So it's a place where you can just certainly leverage affiliate marketing. It's pretty quick and easy. And a lot of, as you gain a following, your friends and colleagues are looking at those, whatever you upload there. And so it gives you a chance to really penetrate and, and reach both your your close associates as well as just the general public. So if the picture is related to what you're, what you're trying to sell uh, or review or whatever, someone may be searching for the picture, find the picture, see your, your little blurb at the bottom of the link and click on it. Exactly, and so it's something that you can really benefit from, especially with as it gets bigger in, in Google with Universal Search. If somebody happens to search for a particular, maybe a button-down shirt that's available at the Gap, and you have a picture of you wearing it so they can see, just see this human model wearing this shirt, and so if you just put the title in Flickr as maybe like the XYZ blue shirt at the Gap and somebody just happens to search for those keywords, then they find you as one of the top results. And in Universal Search, you're going to stick out because they have the picture there instead of just another text okay. result. So YouTube and Flickr, what else? And also I use Twitter, which is a microblogging site where you can... Microblogging. In other words, it limits you to the number of characters you can put in at any one time. What, 140? Yeah, 100, 140 characters. Something like so, that. So it's very limiting. You can't say much. So yeah. how do you use Twitter? Um, basically, you can tie Twitter into a blog or also into Flickr so that whenever you post to your blog, you can have it so that it automatically posts the title of your blog post as well as the URL, and they actually shorten your URL using tinyurl, and it's, a, it's an automatic process so that it automatically posts to your Twitter account, and then you have people that follow you there, so when they see that, people tend to click on it to see what you have to say because you get a, the following, and so I... I, do, I both do that so that all of my blog posts go automatically into Twitter as okay. well as... So you have a blog post where you're giving some good content, a review of a product or something like that. Exactly, yes. And then you have an RSS feed, I'm assuming, from the blog. Yes. That will automatically, you can hook your Twitter account into it. Yes. So that, that that title and URL will go automatically to your your Twitter account. 
Yeah, so it's a one step, just a, an easy process to set that up and then it's automatic from, from there on. So once it's set up, then it's good for forever. Sorry. Yeah, exactly. And so, but it's important also with Twitter to actually mix it up so that you don't have strictly just the automatic tweets on there. there when you post there, it's called a tweet. <laughs> and um, you don't want to have just all of that because then people aren't going to really feel like they have the personal connection. So you have to go in there and just be part of the community too and, right. and just um, interact with people and, and just respond to their comments and, and just really make it authentic because people don't want to mm -hmm. just basically feel like they're being like marketed to. They want to have some kind of face on on the account there. So this is not just a place to advertise, it's really a community of people who are sharing information and sharing some of the stuff they've learned and done. Yeah. Uh, and you have to be part of the community to make this whole social media thing work. Yeah, exactly, and so you, as time goes by, you just build up more and more of a following. I, I typically have about anywhere from six to 10 people that knew a day that follow me, and I'm, I have When you say follow you, that means what? Um, when they go to twitter.com or they can use a variety of different applications to see it outside of the website, they see every post that I make if they're, if they're following me and anybody else they're following. Like, for instance, I'm following about 600 people on there and, and I've got a, a, between three and 4,000, I forget the number, they're following me right now. And so each time I post, and sometimes I'll post five, ten times a day, each of these people is seeing my message. Okay. So this is getting the word out to a, a community, a growing community of people. Yes, exactly, and it's, it's getting a lot more mainstream media, and um, and to, it's a little bit off the affiliate marketing course, but just the impact of it is recently there's a Comcast, the, the cable company, recently had a problem with them, and I posted a message to their account on there, and they responded quickly, and I was very happy about that. So I posted on to my blog about my positive experience after being frustrated with Comcast for a good decade, and um, and it got picked up by the, the local Channel 2, CBS News in New York City, oh and they ended up syndicating it out, so this, they did a segment on me, and it, it played out, it was all from Twitter, they played it in Philadelphia, Tampa Bay, Seattle, Chicago, LA, all over so the place. So that post helped you a lot? Yeah, it got helped. Your, got your word out there. It got me out there just for my personal brand, but also Twitter, Just it's just a, the power of it and how it, okay. it enabled this story to get out there and made the national news. YouTube, Flickr, blogging, and Twitter, anything else? Um, those are my main Those tools main right ones. now, yeah. Well, tell me about you and your business and what you do. Um, I've been in affiliate marketing since 1997. My main focus these days, in addition to being an affiliate myself, is to run a conference called Affiliate Summit, and that takes place a couple of times a year. We're going to be in January in Las Vegas, and we'll have a few thousand people there just focusing on just the latest trends and innovations in affiliate marketing and a trade show with the, the whole exhibit floor and everything. Well, Sean, thanks so much for taking time to share with us. This is Ralph Wilson at Web Marketing Today.